Happy Friday, it's February 19th, 2016, and with all the tech advancements made in the automobile world as of late, the fact remains that getting into and out of a car still usually requires one of the oldest technologies around, a key. Sure, many cars use those fancy new wireless proximity fob thingies, but hidden inside, the same tech that was used to open dungeon doors and treasure chests. Well, that may be about to change. Volvo says it's looking to do away with the traditional key in favor of a smartphone app, which would work like a fob, but also let you track your car's location, vital stats, and so on. Seeing how Volvo is also developing autonomous car tech, this seems like a no-brainer, but the Swedish car maker also says that keys won't quite be going away completely, because it's always possible to lose your phone as well, and then what are you gonna do? China is putting the finishing touches on a new radio telescope that will make the giant Arecibo dish look like an inverted tinfoil hat. The fast radio telescope is over 1,600 feet wide and costs $184 million to build. It should go online later this year, and its primary mission, to look for signs of extraterrestrial life. Do we really want them to do that? Did they not see Independence Day? Anyway, China needs a big radio silent quiet zone around the new telescope, so they're relocating over 9,000 people across two provinces, both of which are among the poorest in the country. Families will receive about $1,800 each in compensation, which the communist government says is about six months pay for the average peasant. I'm sure the people losing their homes hope that we indeed hook up with some ETs who will hopefully offer them a better deal. Got dreams of being the next Neil Peart or Phil Collins? What you probably need is a third arm, if you want to take on Peart at least, and researchers at Georgia Tech have you covered. Check out this rather disturbing looking but fully functional robotic third arm rocking some drum kit action. The creators say the software learns your movements and is pretty good at keeping the beat because it's a robot that can keep perfect time, of course. Initially designed to help a one-armed drummer, the natural progression seemed to be, hey, if two arms are good, right? We can only imagine where this might end up. Anyway, we've got the rest of the day's tech news at digitaltrends.com. That's all for DT Daily. We'll be back again, and we hope you have a great weekend.